Mission League Finals with Patrick Donovan, head coach at St. Francis High School. They break Loyola's streak at 23 years. The Golden Knights go 1-3-4 in the race, win 27-34 against Loyola. Uh, you mentioned 16th year, the first time taking down, first time winning the league. Uh, how big is this for the program? Uh, it's 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 a huge huge accomplishment. Uh, you know, these kids have been have been training since June and and had. You know, big goals in mind all season, and, and we're looking at the postseason. And this was um, a an incredible accomplishment for them along the way to hopefully some great postseason success. You know, these there's there's a rivalry in this league. There's no doubt about it. Um, Loyal has been a storied program and has had immense success and has brought up the entire league. So uh, to be able to uh, to best them here today was a, a, a great great thing um, you know for for my athletes for the boys um, and you know in 16 years of coaching definitely a huge accomplishment for me today as well last year was some peaks and valleys some adversity definitely in mid-season you guys closed with the flourish you ran really well CF finals went on to state you mentioned that was kind of an eye-opening experience and that was parlayed into what we've seen so far this year yeah it, uh, it definitely um, was a maturing um, maturing trip for the boys they went up there saw all the pomp and circumstance of the CIF state championship and cross country and that's something that you cannot uh, you cannot just see in videos and read about so they've been there they've seen it now and uh, when we get back up there and uh, after Thanksgiving weekend they're gonna be ready to, to turn some more heads so up front you've got Hayden Owen he was your winner today Luke Metcalf was third Cross country is a team sport. It takes some depth. Talk about your three, four, five guys. You know, I've I've had the luxury of having some guys that have mixed up that three, four, five spot. Uh, Sam Franco, a junior, Aiden Guzman, um, a sophomore, Axel Gonzalez, sophomore, Augie Martin, Noe Barraza, a senior. Um, all those guys have have been in that three, four spot and have made you know scoring differences. And uh, it's you know I tell the guys every race you know you. Uh, we're all going to have a bad race, so when we're going by, you pull somebody else to victory, and um, you know these guys are, are always going to step up and be that guy. In the big picture, you guys win this race, you know, take down a, a dynasty in a sense. Uh, again, Loyola had won 23 in a row, I believe it was. Now you guys move on to postseason, Division Four. There are four really good teams, and what I would consider very dangerous when they're all on. They've been like kind of laying in the weeds, hard west like at five. Uh, any of the top four right now could really take it. What are your thoughts and how does what's happened last year and this year in the maturation process, how does that prepare you for what's ahead? You know, I um, having been there before and, and most of these athletes being there last year, I'm less worried about the big stage scaring them and, and intimidating them. Um, you know, the nice part is, is we've seen, you know, Cathedral and Bosco and Harvard and the other teams in our league at uh, races this season. They know the guys. Um, they know what to expect, and, and I think they're going to come in there uh, with a little bit of fire and a little bit of hunger. You know, I had a nice um, exchange with the cathedral coach after they got us, uh, you know, at, at the Mount Sac invite. Um, we've been back and forth a couple times this season, and, you know, he said to me, um, you know, it's going to be whoever's, uh, whoever has the best race at, at CIF finals, and I agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, any one of those teams can, uh, can uh, top the podium, and I just hope that uh, my boys are going to be ready to have their best race that day. Okay. Last question, coming to today, uh, for, you mentioned about four or 16 years coaching here. Every year, for every coach here, it's been Loyola, Loyola, Loyola. Were there some nerves coming to today for you? And also, uh, just in general, what, would, what do you think was the key difference? Or what was the message going into today? You know, I, I told the boys, you've, you've earned your spot here today. Um, you know, you bested them at the last league meet, and that uh, that surprised a lot of people. The surprises are done. Everything uh, from here on out is something that you guys earned, and they were ready to earn it today. All right. Hi, Jonathan, head coach for St. Francis High School, the Mission League champions, a school different than Loyola, St. Francis, number one in the Mission League, and now moving on to postseason CIF. And if all goes well, state should be an exciting ride. Thanks, Coach. Thank you very much, Rich.